Shalom Max Puka. Uh, this video here, I'm doing this video for the newer people. I get asked this question many times and I'm going to do something. I don't have one particular video to send them to. So this is the one video I will be sending people that's asking the same question. Explain what is this deliver yourself means and why? What does it mean he, him gathering us? What does that mean? Because we don't understand what deliver. When he said deliver yourself, we don't know what this means. New people don't know what this means. And it's, it's, it's okay. We come from lies. We've been taught lies. And we haven't been taught the word accurately, correctly. And we're not diligently studying for ourselves. And this is something that I say over and over. It's vital that you study the scripture for yourself i'm going to bring out these scripture pray over these scriptures new people pray over this ask the most high concerning this and he will open your eyes and show you exactly what he's saying but his word says what it says and it means what it means why do we have to deliver ourselves okay let's see deuteronomy 28 28 29 here it is yahuwah will strike you with madness and blindness and Confusion of heart. This is where we at. Our people are mad. Our people are blind. Our people are confused. Are in confusion. And it says, "You shall grope at noonday as a blind man gropes in darkness. You shall not prosper in your ways. You shall be only oppressed and plundered continually." This is where we at. This thing continually going on. We're continually oppressed. We're continually plundered. This. We're getting shot down. We continue to get killed every day. And no one will, no one shall save you. This is the reason. This is the most highest word. He himself is not breaking this word. Zero in on this. You have to ask yourself a question. Why did he say no one? When he says no one, is he talking about himself? Yes, he is talking about himself. He put us in the land of our captivity for us to be destroyed. And no one shall save you. Did he say it more than once? It's through the scriptures, it says precept upon precept, Isaiah 10 and 28. Line upon line, here a little, there a little. Precepts. We have to get precepts on this. Here it is, Deuteronomy 28, 68, and Yahuwah will take you back to Egypt in ships by the way which I said to you. You shall never see it again. Of course, Egypt, Mizraim, house of bondage, America. You saw the video, America is Egypt. If you haven't new people, look at that video with something amazing in there that you're not going to hear on the news that America is nothing more than Egypt, more than just on the back of your dollar bill. You shall... You, you you shall never see it again, and there you shall be offered for sale to your enemies as male and female slaves. Here we go. But no one will buy you. No one will deliver you. No one will redeem you. No one will save you. This is what this means. He meant for us to be put there. This is what he put in Torah. We were put there for our destruction without any to deliver us this is what the word is saying and he didn't do this there's a there's a false teaching out there saying only Yehuda got scattered throughout all the earth that's a false teaching if that's the case he need to he need, the most high first of all he didn't keep his word by scattering Yasharal in all the land he only scattered Yehuda and he need to apologize to Yehuda, but that's not the case at all. He says, I saw Yahshua Raw scattered off across the whole face of the earth. It doesn't say I saw Yehuda. I saw Yahshua Raw scattered across the whole face of the earth. Jubilees 23 and 22 to 24. Now I brought these different scriptures out before, but this again, I'm doing this together, putting it all together in one message. And a great punishment shall befall the deeds of this generation from Yahuwah. And he will give them over to sword. Here's where we're at today. To a judgment and to captivity. 
and to be plundered and devoured. There is, there is that word. You were put there. We were put there to be in captivity, to be complete, to be plundered and devoured. He said he would show us no favor in this land. He wasn't playing. And he's not, this is his word. He's not going, our people believe he's going to break his own word. He's not going to break his word. And he will wake up against them, the sinners of Gui, who have neither mercy nor compassion, and who shall respect the person of none. They're not going to respect no, no one, old or young, not anyone, but they are more wicked and strong to do evil than all the children of men, and they shall use violence against Yashara, Jacob's trouble, and transgression against Jacob. Here it is. And much blood, uh-oh, much blood shall be shed upon earth. This is going to lead to a bloodbath. And Yashara is leading the way to a bloodbath. None of our people cannot say this scripture is not true. Gui will say, oh, you're not leading the world in bloodbath. No one can say that we are the most hated nation upon this earth. And Gui, if you fall with the hatred, you're going to fall with them that hate those that, that will become the apple of his eye. Much blood shed upon the earth, and there shall be none to gather. What? Is this what we read in Torah? Here we go in the book of Jubilees. Why? They knew the scripture. There should be none to gather. No one to gather. No one to save. No one to deliver. Listen up, new people. And none to bury their bodies. <clears throat> Not only will it be none to gather them, to save them, to deliver them. During Jacob's trouble, it's going to be a bloodbath. And no one will be able, no one will bury their, their bodies. 24. And in those days, this stuff going to go down and it's going to go down all of a sudden. This is what I know. This is what he showed me. It's going to go down all of a sudden. It's going to go down when you least expect it. All of a sudden, when it go down, there's the bloodbath. Says in those days, the people going to cry loud. What are they crying for? They're going to cry for the most high to deliver them. To save them. They're going to call and pray that they may be saved from the hand of the sinners. Gooey. But who's going to save them? But none shall save them. You got to get this. New people, if you don't get this, you will continue to be lost, blind. You will continue to be oppressed. And you will be on your way to Jacob's trouble. Not heeding the word of the Most High. The people perish. Because of lack of knowledge. This is the only thing I try to do on this channel. Bring out his word to bring out knowledge. So people can make a, a correct, a righteous, a kadosh decision on what to do. Hosea 5.14. Here we go again. For I will be unto Ephraim as a lion. And as a young lion to the house of Yehuda. I, even I will tear and, and go away. I will take away and none shall rescue him. When he, when the Most High does this, he meant that none would rescue us. You starting to understand why we have to deliver ourselves? This is what his word is saying. None shall deliver you. Jeremiah 2 and 27. Saying to a tree, this is what we did. Serving, bowing down to other mighty ones. This is what got us kicked out. You are my father. To a stone, you gave birth to me. Here we go. Wood and stone. <clears throat> For they have turned their back to me. This is what we've done. And not their face. You see, we should face him when we are in righteousness. We shouldn't be bowing our heads and closing our eyes like they taught us in, in Christianity. If we're keeping his law, statutes, and commandments, we should go before him. Look to him. But in the time of their trouble, Jacob's trouble, they will say, arise and save us. Here we go. They're going to say, save us, deliver us, looking for a deliverer. And there shall be none to deliver. Okay, <clears throat> Psalms 89 and 34. This is the Most High's word. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> he says, 
My covenant I will not break, nor alter the words that has gone out of my lips. Now, why is the Most High telling you this scripture? Why is he bringing this out? Because our people, all those scriptures says none will deliver you, none will save you. All of those scriptures, the people are saying he's going to deliver us. He's going to save us. Not understanding, he's not breaking his own word. That went out of his mouth. It went out of his lips that none shall deliver you. So that's why he told us to deliver ourselves. This is the reason why. And our people knew this. The prayer of Azaria, 1 and 15. This is where we're at today. Neither is there at this time a prince, prophet, leader. We don't have a prince. We don't have a prophet. If they call themselves a prophet, they are a false prophet. Just put false in front of their name when they say prophet, prophet this or prophetess. They are false. We don't have a prophet, a leader, or burnt offering, any type of offerings, oblations, incense, or a place to offer. We don't even have a place to go offer before him to find mercy, to find favor. We, we're not doing these things. Why? Because of what happened in the book of Daniels. You see, the daily offering was taken away. It was taken away from us in 70 AD. And then the abomination that makes desolation was set up. Zechariah <clears throat> 2 and 6 through 9. This is what the Most High command us. Here is the commandment. He gave commandments through the prophets that our people are ignoring. You talk about scriptures ignored. No one wants to, none of your false teachers want to talk about it. We've dealt with false teaching in Christianity. We Now we're dealing with false teaching within Yahshua Raw. This is why we don't have a leader. We don't have one to lead us. We don't have a prince. We don't have a king. Who is the Mashiach? I had to ask someone that was concerned about this. And they had a legit concern. Who is the Mashiach today? There is is none there is none ho ho come forth flee flee this is this word this word terrifies our people he wouldn't tell us to flee who are we running from we're not afraid let's stay and fight did the scripture say stay and fight did the most high say stay and fight we have to know when to fight the battle and when not to fight you you're in the land for destruction he didn't send us in the land to fight that's not your country. But we saying this is our country. You know, united we stand. This is our country. He said, flee from the land of the north. You call this north, according to Aubrey, it's unknown. But if you want to say it's North America, so be it. Flee from the land that's called north. North America. Flee from the land of unknown. America was unknown at this time. Say, Yahuwah, for I have spread you. As the four winds of heaven, say Yahuwah, I spread you. Who is you, Yehuda? Who is you? Is he talking to Yehuda? No, this is for Yahshua Raw. He scattered Yahshua Raw over the face of the earth. He would have broke his word if he was scattered Yehuda only when they all committed these abominations and sins. Verse 7, deliver yourself. Deliver yourself. Yourself. This is something you must do. You must deliver yourself because none is going to deliver you. You continue to stay in Babylon. You continue to stay in these lands where we've been scattered. Wait for the president. Call on him to release the people. Let my people go. You're just wasting your breath, time. Wait on your pastors, your preachers, your leaders. Wait on your elders, your camp leaders wait on them and see wait on it does it does not say wait on any of them it's say to deliver yourself you that dwell with the daughter of babylon thus says you of hosts after the splendor he have sent unto he has sent me unto the nations which spoil you these nations have plundered us he has touched you touched the apple of my eye now let me explain what happened here because many people don't understand this Going was given a number to kill of us. He was given a number. And when this number reached its peak, the killing was supposed to stop. But according to the prophets, he continued to kill. And he did 
overkill. He went over the number he was supposed to reach.